Backpack. This is Advil from Wolf Steel Buildings. And we're out here in Burleson, Texas. Behind me, we're doing a 30 by 36 metal building. It's a welder building. So I'm about to do a little quick tour, just kind of talk to you guys a little bit about this project we're doing. Here at Burleson, we're really close to our office. So we are based out of Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, Burleson is really, really close. So we came out, check out how the guys are doing. And might as well give you guys a little tour. Let's check this one out. Yeah, so check this out. This is a 30 wide metal building. By the way, say hi to Roy. What's up, Roy? What's up, Pat? <laughs> We're out here doing a little checkup on, on this project. So this project is a 30 wide and uh, 36 long. It's got 14 foot to the eaves. This actually has a 412 pitch. So our pitch is standard 312. On this project, our client did want a little bit more of a, of a peak. So this is a, a 412 pitch. And then we got two doors. You know what door size these are? 12 by 12s on the front and an eight by eight on the side. That's right. So the 12 by 12s are overhead doors. These are coming in at a later date, probably next week. It might even come this week. We're in, uh, it's Tuesday today, so typically the doors come in about two to five days after. That way we, we have it all framed out and trimmed out, ready for, for the overhead doors. And then in the back, we actually have a roll-up door, which is gonna be like an eight by eight roll-up door. So we did do the concrete here, so check this out. We did raise this concrete to the grade of about where the pool is because here you can see it was it was low so we did raise it we did do a nice nice ramp and then we also did do this nice curb to make sure that all this water that's falling up here around here is still going through through the same it's not falling into the neighbor if you're wondering the colors this is burnished slate but this is the burnished slate color it's got the light zone it will have all the trims are, are burnished slate and the roof is going to be a light stone. So check out the, the notch detail that we did here. So when the door comes in, it's going to fall right here. I've been seeing a lot of the ramps being done on other slabs and unfortunately the ramps just don't work very well when it comes down to making sure that the door sits, you know, really on the bottom right here the door will sit here we want the tracks to sit here that way it's not sitting on the air and then you got a gap you're gonna be seeing a video where we talk about that coming very very soon because it's been very very common and we've had some some install issues come up I really like this u-trim that we do so this u-trim covers the 4x4 posts that we have this u-trim Usually you don't see it sometimes on red iron buildings. This is all exposed, so you'll see the red frame from the, from the side of the road. If you see the red frame, it's because this U-trim is not very common for you know about 50% of red iron builders. But then the others that do do it, I highly recommend that we all do it because it, it definitely makes it look really nice and complete. Check out the side before we go inside. So this is a welder building. We started last week, I believe on Tuesday, we've had some rain, but this is a 30 by 36 with 14 foot tall. This project on a tubular would have been done in about three days. But weld ups, again, weld ups are fabricated all on site. That's why you see all the, uh, the trash out there, all the scrap. It's all fabricated on site. All the angles, all the cuts, they're all done on site so that's why it takes a little bit longer bolt up buildings from a tubular and a red iron are all fabricated at a shop and so when they come here they're basically kits and you just put it together but here this is a weld up building so everything is fabricated on site so a lot of the craftsmanship has to you know happen here basically so we got this nice steel door this is the 48 by 84 so you can see it's like a lot a lot bigger than the normal 36 this 36 inch door when it comes down to red iron products that we offer it's a lot more customizable we can get a lot more customized items uh, for 
four year project. So here we got these nice Elevate windows, double pane. We even got the same bronze color that's very, very similar to our burnish slate. Look at these nice cuts done here by Eduardo. Right, Eduardo? <laughs> the gutters are being installed right now. Here we're actually gonna have a, a nice lean-to, which is like a 10 by 15 lean-to, and then it's gonna have a cedar encasement. We are gonna be setting, you can see the line here, we're gonna be setting the 4x4s more inside, that way the encasement is still sitting on the concrete, it's not outside, so we are moving it inside more to be able to have the encasement still sitting on concrete and not on ground, since this wood want to make sure it's protected. It's already one, one o'clock today. They'll probably finish by tomorrow. It should be basically complete. Check this out, it's looking super clean. I love the, this color combo. Again, all our products we do with our base trim. This is super, super nice. I mean, it really just protects that weight because of the ridges of the panel. It doesn't, no critters are trying to come up. You can see it. This is standard on our red iron products. Check this out. We use all I-beams on our red irons. We got the eight inch I-beams for this building, a 30 by 36 with 14 foot tall. We're using eight inch I-beams, six inch purlins all the way around and even on the roof. Nice control joints on the concrete. This client, we're actually gonna be spray foaming the building. So we are coming back and doing the spray foam once we have all the doors in. I like these steel doors again because they're also flush to the ground, to the concrete. It's easy to access in and out. If you notice on the tubular buildings, the mobile home door gets offered often and the mobile home door usually sits on a base rail that is about two, two and a half inch thick. It's a square tube basically. And so we've had a lot of clients say, ah, I don't like it. Um, so keep that in mind when you're looking into the tubular models, they do have those more cost effective doors. You're actually probably wondering why we got these stickers. So one of the challenges with, with seat channels is that they tend to sag, especially because here the space in between is about 18 feet. So the purlin will tend to, to sag. So we set these stickers temporarily, or these basically wood posts, and then temporarily just to straighten it out, we bolt it and then we take it out again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, because uh, once this project is finished, we cleaned it out, We we have the doors on. I'm gonna be out here and we're gonna do a final walkthrough. I basically have most of it here though. So if you've been watching our videos, we, we do a lot of custom overhead doors, a lot of customization, especially on our red iron projects. We can do a lot more customization just because of the nature of the project. It takes a little bit longer, it gives a little bit more. It's a lot more uh, customized to our clients. So uh, stay tuned because we got more and more videos coming up for red iron bolt ups, red iron weld ups, and a lot of tubular as well. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.